And I'd like to introduce you to Michael Mormon, who is a part of the German Lutheran Church, as well as Barbara, and I'm going to butcher your last name, Podborni. <laughs> And she, uh, they are representatives of the German Lutheran Church. She came here and she's, a little, she's not feeling so well, as I understand. Oh. Thank you for coming. And they speak better mm -hmm. Hebrew than, much better Hebrew than I do. But uh, anyway, I'll let them also speak. I just ask that as you pass through our college campus to the cemetery, you remain respectful. It is a university that's in session right now. We have professors teaching and classes in session. So just, uh, we ask that you don't make a lot of noise as you come through the garden. It's a beautiful garden, um, and I would just say that on behalf of our college, as we're a, a Christian school here in your land, guests in your land, um, we are very disappointed in the activity that happened. I know uh, that you are as well. So we appreciate immensely your support and uh, the kindness that you are showing to us in your uh, in your attendance in this event. So, Michael, I don't know if you'd like to say anything further. Uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a great uh, honor that you came, and especially on this sad event, to express your, uh, your feelings about the situation. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm speaking on behalf of the Lutheran Church and Propst Joachim Lenz. He's in Germany right now, so he can be here. We are on the board of the uh, German Lutheran Church, uh, and it's a, it's a tremendous heritage. Uh, this cemetery, Konradschik and Bishop Gorbat, it's, it's our common it's Jerusalem heritage, as you know. And uh, your, your coming here today is a sign of your yes, support and common grief. Uh, we appreciate it a lot. It's, it's a great sign for us. It's an encouragement uh, to stay strong together. Uh, what we have in common is more than uh, things that, that divide us. And, so let's stay together, and it's, a, it's an honor for us you are here today. Thank you for coming and joining us in this event. Michael, what you just said makes me think of who's in the cemetery. Conrad Schick, for those of you who do not know who he is. Wow. Yeah, okay, wow, okay, I don't need to say any more, so may you rest in peace. Uh, but our founder, Dr. G. Douglas Young, who was actually given a great prestigious award by the uh, Jewish government, he was deep. Friend, a very deep friend of Teddy Collin, the first mayor of Jerusalem. He's buried here with his wife. He was in Jerusalem. He founded not only our college, but also Bridges for Peace, which is a very famous organization that reaches out to the disadvantaged Jewish people around the world. Uh, and he's buried here as well. There are some <laughs> remarkable individuals in the cemetery who have helped, as you might already know, with the formation of Jerusalem as the capital city of Israel. And so it's, uh, it, that, that perhaps is also what saddens me about the fact that someone would come in and not even know their own history, uh, but to come in and desecrate um, the, the, the graves of men and women who have so sacrificially given to what you and I call today home uh, in this place. So let's go and take a look. Just a minute, just a yeah, minute. Yeah, please. We uh, would like just a few people here to say a few words before please. we go. Rav Jose, please. <laughs> Whatever you want. Anglet, Anglet. Anglet. It's better than yeah, it's a rabbi. Um, <laughs> okay, um, as I said before, um, I don't think there's a, a sufficient awareness in Israel. Um, of the physical that some of the, of the churches in the whole world, particularly in Germany, have gone um, in the last half century. Um, and, and obviously, to the terrible, uh, this terrible behavior and the people who did it, obviously they have, they're completely oblivious. Um, and I think it's true what, was, what strikes me in the last few days is the is the sense that those people who obviously, you know, represent this kind of uh, obliviousness of, of, of context and history, um, in, in a very deep place, they were they were doing something uh, against all the graveyards of the Jews in Europe over the generations. I mean, anybody who has a sense of history understands the struggles that have been going on, the terrible anti-Semitism, and 
and the, and the behaviour towards graveyards, and even today, how you relate to the graveyards of Jews uh, in Europe. And, and as if in their behaviour, to put it in, in Hebrew, because the, always the sense was that anti-Semitism was something that we deal with and we don't act back in the same way. And now we're actually in a time that the Lutheran Church together with other churches are, are moving out of that place and, and dealing with the past and, and, and helping us and moving forward with us. And these people, not only they're stuck in the past, but in a much deeper sense, they're, they're rewriting the past in a way that's very hurtful for our own perception of our own past, that we didn't do those things. And we like to believe that we didn't behave those ways, not because we were weak, but because we weren't like that. Um, and, uh, and I think that this is a, a point of reckoning. Obviously, it's, education is what's important here, but it's a point of reckoning um, in how we look at our own history and our own ability to move forward to work together with other religions. Thank you, Rabat Amar. Another rabbi. <laughs> well, I want to I wanna say shalom, and I want to thank Oliver, the president, and the leaders, Michael and Barbara, and I hope you'll feel better, and thank you for standing with us. I want to say that I stand here sad and ashamed, and I wish we were millions standing here today, but I know many of us represent many, many other people who stand with us today here. And you are not alone, and we are not alone. And we have many, many people who want and condemn what happened here. And I want to say that, you know, Jews read the portion of the Torah every week. And in this portion, there's the death of the father of Am Yisrael in many ways, one of the fathers, Yaakov, Jacob, Israel, which we are named upon and after. And I'm sorry for my English because I'm Israeli, but in my Israeli English, I want to tell you that one of the holiest things that the Torah teaches us is how the Jews, the Israelis, and the Egyptians respected the dead. The dead, our, our ancestors, they're the builders of so much. They have given us ideals and values and cities and places, and they are helpless when they die. And the only thing we have is their heritage in order to make sure that they are protected and that their heritage protects all of us. And that was violated, and I feel ashamed for that, especially on the verge of that Torah, of the Yechi and of Jacob. So I want to stand here in the name of Jacob, and I want to stand here in the name of Am Yisrael, who always respected life, and respected the dead, and respected the holiness of the inheritance, of everything that we believe in, of gentleness. And I want to say that for me, standing here today means that Hanukkah is not about, you know, a holiday that passed. It's about every day choosing over and over again to condemn darkness and to stand with light. So we stand together today. And I want to make sure that our community, the community of Zion, and in the leadership of Tag Meir, of Gadi, and all the friends and leaders who stand here, we will make sure not only to stand here today and to go together to the graves and to make sure that we speak this message but we will make sure to come here again to see the university and to see life and to make sure that in this city we make a city of life because this city that really has a long history is more than anything the home of God, the city of God. And we are in charge of being here as people who honor the city of God. So may we do that in this sad moment and in the moment of life, of life that awaits us and will come. Bezrat Hashem God willing. Yoni Shapira. Uh, thank you. I was not expecting you to speak. Uh, and uh, we are here. We are here. Uh, I'm uh, chairman of the Israel Income Children Association. And among this crowd, I can see quite a lot of colleagues that see this as a guardian of heritage. The guardian of heritage of Jerusalem. I'm a ninth generation Jerusalemite. But these people were here way before I was born and the heritage will keep on for the future. And it is our job to transfer, transmit, translate, and mediate the heritage of the Holy Land to the people who come from abroad. And when they come and they hear and read about this terrible atrocity where people 
maliciously go and destroy heritage and destroy tombs of people that contributed, of people that loved the Holy Land and were here and are buried here because that's where they wanted to be buried. Uh, it's something that's unacceptable. It's like people go into a Jewish cemetery in Europe, like somebody talked about it before, and desecrate Jewish tombs. It is totally unacceptable. So we are here to show solidarity, to show the importance of this place for the history of Jerusalem, for our own personal heritage, be it Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and so on. And hopefully, peace will be among the people. And this is our job to translate and transmit and mediate this kind of peace in Yerushalayim, Yerushalayim, the city of, of peace. And I hope that uh, we have here people who are constantly on a march of support and protection of the Armenians of their twice a month march to the Holy Sepulchre because of people that attack them and uh, behave in a way that's totally unacceptable. I'm coming right now from the demonstration at the Supreme Court, uh, which is because this we are losing our democracy. We are losing our democracy and people uh, take their law into their own hands and think that they are protected because of who they are and what they are. And we have to put an end to this. We have to put an end to what happened here and to what's happening all around us. And we are here to support you. And if there is any way we can assist you, any way that we can promote it and talk about it and bring people to see this amazing place, um, we will do so. so our full uh, appreciation of what you do, and hopefully it will be done. Thank you. Thank you. The last one, just this is Pepe Alalo. He's the vice mayor, former vice mayor of Jerusalem. Pepe, what's up?